<laughs> Amy, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? How does it feel like being back in camp again? Yeah, very good. Obviously, it's always nice to be back in Ireland camp. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to the two games. Yeah. It's been, I assume, an interesting couple of months for you. Being back in Ireland, Jersey, what sort of motivation did that time give you? Yeah, a lot. Um, obviously, it was a difficult situation uh, for me to be in. Um, and, yeah, I think... Even being in Australia, I always wanted to get back in the green jersey and to do that last campus, yeah, it was really nice for me, yeah. And probably nice to come in at a time as well when there's so much good feeling around the camp and that, you know, yeah. winning games, scoring goals, people are getting lots of time on the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. It's always it's always nice when you're scoring, you're winning and stuff like that. But, yeah, no, the team put in two, two great performances and I think it's important, yeah, to obviously bring that into this camp. It's also good having that but also knowing that we're working for it something like it's not friendly games we're playing you know yeah. this is all really important for future qualification yeah absolutely I think everyone in the camp knows that these games are so important for us and um, for as you said the, the future and I think obviously building on performances and how we want to play and stuff and I think yeah these games are, are really important I think you must be one of the most well supported players on this team I mean the amount of people I see at matches with Jim Finn's eye and sort of <laughs> Finn jerseys and stuff do you feel that a lot yeah, I do, to be fair. Um, and I think even during, obviously, what happened, there was a lot, a lot of support for me. And I think it was so nice to see at the time because obviously you can go back to your, your family and they could be a bit biased, but obviously it's nice to see people you don't know and to, they have that support for you. Um, even seeing them at the games and people you don't know with Finn 17 on the back, it's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Nobody wants to talk about it, but you touched on that time yeah. there. Um, how tough was that, and then what did you take from it, I guess? Yeah, I think in my career, that's yeah, that's probably the toughest moment ever, really. Um, even in life, it, it wasn't a great time at all. Um, it was it was a shock for me, to be honest, to play in, in six of the nine games and to be involved in, yeah, absolutely everything. Um, yeah, it was a shock, and obviously... I think at the time, yeah, it was it was a very very sad moment as well. Even for my family, it wasn't 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 nice. But I think even even what I said in the statement, I think it was important to say that that I wanted to support the team, and to go to Australia and to do whatever I could to help the team. And I think, yeah, I think I done that even in training and team meetings and stuff. I always wanted wanted to help the team because obviously it's a it's a team sport at the end. You touch on the statement. I know, like that, really showed everyone. I was a testament of your character, anyways, and as well the shot that you talk about. I see, like the Irish public felt that as well. Was that even adding to the frustration that there was that kind of disconnect there? Yeah, I think so. I think, as I said, like you can go home to your family and friends, and they'll tell you, like they could be biased, but to, to for people that don't know you to say all these things about you and to say should have been in the squad and yeah, it was difficult to see that but also I took light in that situation that people are thinking like that of me as well so yeah it was kind of like yeah it, it was difficult though but I think anyone who knows me knows how much how much playing for Ireland means to me and um, like playing in the green jersey will never will never be beaten for me and I think I think when we qualified that night I was steered towards the World Cup. Like I was tunnel vision. I wanted to make that that team. And I think, for me, I done. I knew I done everything possible. Even with club, I played every single game. Every I started every single game, and I knew I performed well that season. Um, so yeah, it was really tough to take. And then, given how everything panned out, I guess are you looking forward to this kind of new era? Yeah, absolutely. I think, as I said, like. Ultimately, it's about playing for your country and having that pride and passion to go out and to go out to war for for your country, for your teammates. And I think that's what being Irish is. And I think everyone's really, yeah. I think everyone in this team knows that. And and to play for Ireland, it's one of the one of the greatest things ever, really. Especially given that you're such kind of a utility player that you can play in only a few positions. Yeah. Um, like I suppose looking back. Oh. Again, probably adds to frustration, but looking forward, it's probably an exciting thing that, you know, there's lots of prospects yet. Yeah, absolutely. I think, obviously, that was one thing about my game that I always liked. Like, I play in a lot of positions and managers like that about me. I can play anywhere if they come and say, we need you to do a job here or there. I'll do it and they know that. So, obviously, at the time, yeah, it was hard to kind of wrap my head around how, how I wouldn't be involved when... 
as I said, I can play a lot of positions. Um, but yeah, I think I, I think I just need to look forward, and obviously that's a positive in someone's yeah. game. You know what I mean? So. Hey, Jane, you just started the fact that you didn't make spawns. So you didn't get deserved or credit for the professionalism you showed, or did you take on any sort of inspiration from anyone who maybe have been left out before like that? Yeah, I think, yeah, obviously at the time um, it, it was difficult. And I think I took a few days, um, I don't know how to process it, even if, can you process it in a few days? Probably not. Probably now to this day, I still think about it and, and stuff but it's so important to look forward and um, as I said getting minutes last camp um, yeah it was it was nice for me to, to get back it was such a good feeling to get back on the pitch um, but yeah touching on the professionalism I think that's so important for me as well as a person to be that way I think in life some things just don't go your way and I think yeah it's, it's so important to try try and see a positive side to it even though at the time I probably wasn't seeing it, but people around me were supporting me and saying, listen, like if you if you go to the World Cup, potentially if you get to another World Cup or Euros, you have that experience and, and, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, well, I think if, if, you, if you look back at it, like there'd be a lot of people looking at you going, that's the way to kind of handle it. But at the same time, you have that experience. You spoke about tunnel vision, you're probably tunnel vision now is trying to get to the Euros and play in that. Yeah, and I think, to be honest with you, it's so important to talk about like would you say failures in in like in times in your career that don't go your way i think it's so important to talk about that <clears throat> excuse me and say this happens like and how do you deal with it and stuff like that it's so important to get that out there because it's it's so easy to talk about the positives and winning and getting on teams and for younger kids growing up but what if you don't make the team how do you, how what do you do from there so i think it's so important to to talk about it and, and yeah, to make it a conversation. I think as well though, because obviously it was a situation that was out of your hands. You did mm. everything you could to put yourself in. I remember speaking with you mm. about a month out from when I just, I was, a, I, I was flabbergasted that you weren't in this yeah. app. Yeah. I think that showed with the outrage from, I suppose, the public. Because no one else that was left out didn't get that kind of level of how is she being left out. So I think it was completely out of your hands. And I think you've shown a great example to other people that even though you've done as much as yeah. you can, to handle it the way after and you, you know you can only control what you can actually control exactly and I think that's obviously a thing maybe I've learned as well like as you said you can only control what you can control um, but also that's a hard kind of thing to understand as well because you want this so bad and you know you've done everything possible on off the pitch everything in camp away from camp and for that not to go your way it's such a difficult thing to to comprehend and I think uh, a time in your career like that, I don't think will it'll take time to get over. Um, but I think to look, f you need to look forward and and look. Listen, that did happen, and as I said, you have to speak about it, you have to talk about it because otherwise, yeah, it won't help you. Yeah, and I suppose like we can obviously can look back or whatever, but looking forward, like say this now at Nations League campaign and and. Katie spoke last month about how good it is to have competitive fixtures at Oxford Springs and looking ahead even further then there's another qualifying campaign is he, are your personal sights set on Euro 25 to, to break into the team and, and, and to really figure as a, as a central point in that campaign yeah absolutely um, as I said going back to playing for Ireland is such such a proud moment for me and my family and I think obviously what happened I think really ramp that up even if I don't think it could be ramped up like everyone knows that about me <laughs> but I think yeah that's obviously the, the goal for for me personally and as a team as a collective as well we know we know what we want to do so yeah and basically the, the goal is to come out of this window with 12 points and and to kind of to be, be secure at the top of this group yeah absolutely and I think um I think taking momentum and, and positives from the last two games is, is vitally important and Going into the, the first game, um, it's going to be difficult. I don't think we're going to take um, any team for granted, um, especially the team we're coming up against. Um, but yeah, hopefully we, we can take the positives from the last games. Coming off the back of that then, did you just want to jump back into the club season as full force as you could? Yeah, literally, I always just said, right, we'll, we'll get to Australia and then I'm going to go straight to club and get back to, to what I know I can do. Um, and... Yeah, we came back and, and yeah. obviously we missed pre-season, um, but straight back into the league. But that's always what I 
kind of set set my goals for was to go, listen, go straight back in and, and do what you know you know you do. And that Irish sport there as well. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot to be fair. Um, even on social media, there was a lot of um, blue supporting supporting us. So, yeah, just honestly, um, two games. It, it must be brilliant having to run like Kane McKay was seems to be in the form where like and going into it and you have someone there the ref was afraid of. You know, in recent times with Irish football teams, are, are kind of always on the defensive, but actually having a player like that, it must be great going into games. I mean, you're obviously learning from yourself. I know you're not far off in age. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think having having Katie in the team is obviously a positive for us. I'd rather have her in my team to play against her. Um, but uh, well, yeah, it's it's great to have her in the team and. I think even for me, I'd like to be just like a sponge around the older players and, and learn as much as I can from them. So. All right. Thank you. Thank you.